ผมก็อยากโชว์ครับกับบัวขาวเพราะว่าบัวขาวเขาเป็นซูเปอร์สตาร์ you guys love to fight get a chance to fight bua khao as well because obviously he recognizes bua khao very famous big name and he wants to try and take 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 bua khao beat bua khao and obviously make himself more famous too ที่เป็นฮีโร่ผมครับตอนนั้น Um, he had went to two of his big idols have been uh, Kao Sai Galaxy, a very famous uh, international boxer and world champion. I think he's one of the longest reigning world champions, or made the most title defense. I think he was WBA world champion, international rules. And also uh, Sang Klai, Sang Klai Sik Kruad. That's where he got his name from, Yod Sang Klai. Sang Klai was a very famous fighter back in the day and he went on, he was at the gym that Yod Sang Klai was at, Sik Kruad gym in uh, Bo Yai. And he was kind of like a hero when he went to the gym. He was still fighting, and he went on to be his trainer. This guy was a famous Lumpini superstar back in the day. So l a p u m k o m i to alay tong. Did now he thinks more or less he's kind of as for being a fighter himself, he's completely knows you know more or less all there is to know. But what he studies now is his opponents. He's like uh, that's what he needs to study on and work on now. Just looking and studying the opponents. So many, there's so many great camps, you know, um, and it doesn't necessarily always have to be a big name, uh, state of the art. I mean, obviously you've seen Fairtex, Fairtex, fantastic facilities. They produce great fighters, but that's not necessary. It has to be that way, you know. I mean, you can go to some gyms out in the countryside, and they've literally got nothing much in a very small ring, run down, a couple of bags to kick. But it's the people behind it, the trainers, the manager, and the boxers themselves that make the camps, you know. Sanjay, he's basically right now. I mean, he's, he's, he's considered without a doubt the pound for pound number one fighter in Thailand. Without a doubt, uh, every fight he has, he has to normally give up his opponents three, four, many times even five pounds in weight. Weighs him five pounds lighter in the morning, and often gives him a boxing lesson as well, even after they're losing that much weight. Uh, three three Lumpini titles in the past, former boxer of the year. You name it, he's been in. Any any of the good fighters, he's he's been in with them all. You know. Sublime talent. He's a very skillful. He's got perfect balance. He's his brain's like a boxing computer. He's got every, every weapon in the book, as you can see there. Very skillful, very fast. He's basically got everything. <laughs> Six years old, he's had one fight already. I said, "Did you win or lose?" He said, "No, I lost, but I won the heart of the crowd." <laughs> Comes out of a fight, been bashed up, or so the, the the longevity is there. You know, you can go on a little bit longer than some of the guys that just walk forward, take three shots to, to land one. You know. He's a King Star. He's a Sanchai Saw King Star, 27 years old, and he trains out of the 13 Coins Gym in Ramanine Road. When he was young, he was quite, you know, he was like a normal kid. But he, around where he lived, there was lots of other fighters going to 
coming to Bangkok, making a name for themselves, Lumpini and Ratcham, and they were getting famous and making money, and he wanted to do that, help his family too. His first fight he fought actually in his own school where he was, so he had lots of guys cheering him on, and first time he ever got any money in his hand as well, he got the chance to make money as well, have money, and he's like, I want more of this, I want to, that made him determined to become a fighter. He's a southpaw, he likes, uh, Fights as a southpaw, left kick, left kick, right, uh, left left punch. But primarily, he's a very technical fighter. He likes to use the classic, the basic, all the techniques. He doesn't like to just go forward and you know have a tear up. And he likes to fight in a stylish way, using his brain, using all the techniques that there are. <laughs> He said he likes it. It's like a classic Thai boxing technique from the olden days. He said he's the only fighter in Thailand that brave enough or, you know, that's skilled enough to use that technique. He practiced it for about two years and uh, he, whenever he's fought in France and Japan, the crowd love it. It's, it's like a classic technique. He loves to put the show on with, the, with, his, with his different types of technique. Whenever he has a fight, he's... Uh, Normally, like a, the standards, two weeks, 20 days, that kind of thing. But when he when he trains, he tends to like in Thailand. It's easy because he knows what all the opponents are like. But very much here, look for the technique of the fighter, and they'll work on that, tailor the training for that fight towards that fighter. For instance, if he's fighting a puncher, they'll work a lot on push kicks, keeping a high guard. If he's fighting a clinch fighter, he'll have to do a lot more grappling, that kind of thing. So he trains adjust to the opponent. <laughs> He's um, basically now he's, he's, like, he's more or less run out of opponents in Thailand. He wants to uh, go and fight abroad now. To, like we've said already, promote the sport, make a name for the sport around the world even more. And also he wants to make a gym for himself, go back and forth hopefully in the future between the two, promote Muay Thai around the world and also build his own gym up and his fighters. Guys you've spoken to so far, I mean, Sanchai and Anawak, you're talking about probably two biggest names in Muay Thai right now. Anawak is maybe not as dominant as he was two years ago. He won the Sports Right of the Year award two, two years in a row. Since then, he's kind of, he's, uh, his style is kind of like, he takes a lot of punishment in his fights. He walks forward, he's hard work, so he's been a little bit tired in his last few fights. He's, Ever since he got to one level, he had no one to fight. Every only fought was a lot bigger than him, so he kind of suffered a little bit by his own success. He's still at the top, but maybe not quite as dominant as he was. But Sanchai is without a doubt the best fighter in Thailand by a long way. He's um, pound for pound the best series. I would say, in my own opinion, pound for pound the best fighter in the world. That's the only setback he has. He'd be too small. K1, 70 kilos, he could probably compete in it but he'd lose out size-wise. Plus also a lot of his techniques are taken away from him. I mean, Sanchai is like a master technician. The way they rule the fights in K1, you know, they'll get the guys, spin them around, throw them on the floor. It's, you know, it's not scoring, um, jumping elbows. You can't, a lot of his techniques taken away from him there as well. Bang!